teacher and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not doing it. Good morning teacher and my dear friends. Today I'm going to be speaking on the topic gratitude. The question we often ask ourselves is what is gratitude? Gratitude is not what we have in our hands but what we have in our hearts. It's about being thankful for what God has given us. And an even bigger challenge we face today is realizing why it is important to be grateful. We often take granted that all life has given us, but we should be thankful for everyone who is kind to us in thoughts or actions. In today's current state of affairs, we can see that the world is darkening, hardening and downright depressing. But all of that can be changed by using a single word, thank you. An attitude of gratitude helps us to change our life drastically for the better, thus making us a better person. Oprah Winfrey once said that it is not happy people that are grateful, but it is grateful people who are happy. And how true that is. If you are truly grateful in all parts of life, you are truly happy. She also said that you should be contented with yourself, otherwise you can't be grateful. And that is also true. For you to cultivate your gratefulness, you have to first honor yourself and respect yourself. And for that, just for a moment, remember one of the bad decisions you have taken a long time ago. Now you will realize that it was the best decision in the long run. For you to be grateful, you have to be honest with yourself, honest with others and have courage and determination. So to be grateful, you have to, does not mean you have to always lie to yourself that things are good when they aren't. To hiding your feelings when you want, but it is about reevaluating yourself and realizing what is truly important at the end of the day. And it is about realizing that there is something bigger, grander, and much better for waiting for you at the other end. A bit of appreciation is a seed planted which blooms into something so beautiful, something so that you can have more to be grateful about. Every act of appreciation gives you a bigger, deeper, or meaning of life. It helps you to reach the core essence of life and it helps you to touch others' hearts with our own. It helps you to concrete that feeling inside your heart that says you don't have enough. It helps you to shift your perception on how you view the world, thus giving you a better vision for a new tomorrow. The antidote to our unhappiness is not the newest thing, the better politician or the next achievement. It is quite true. If you stop complaining and realize that you have everything to be grateful about, you will start to see that your life is starting to look up. It will help you to reflect on your achievement and you see that who is the truly important people in your life. It will help you to create an intimacy and connection to people that you have never felt before, thus giving you more to be grateful about. And gratitude is not only about thinking about the positive times, it's also about thinking about the negative times, thus giving you more to be grateful about. Gratitude, in a sense, is not what we should have, but is something that we must have. And I would like to conclude my speech by saying that if you live your whole life saying that you have nothing to be grateful about, when you die, you regret that you have everything to be grateful about. Thank you and have a nice day.